I see you. I see you, sweetie. Can you see me? Yeah. Hi, Mom. How are you feeling? Hey. Lousy as always. But I'm more concerned for you. <laughs> I know you love that place. I know. But it's just not the same. Okay? It's changed. Mom, everything's going to be fine. I have lots of memories from this place. I like to think of the good ones instead. That's right. It's a good idea. Of course. Your father and I had that messy divorce. But when I think back on him, I try. <coughs> I try to remember the three of us together when we used to laugh all day. Me too. I just, I, I just want you to come home. Well, I don't think.
think I can. It took me three hours to get here and all day to get half of the cleaning done. The theater was fully cleaned last week. I saw the invoices. You paid a lot of money to that cleaning service. Well, I just wanted to put my finishing touches on it. People need to see this place is new again. And I'm going to stay here in the office on the futon tonight. The meeting's tomorrow at five. Okay. But it's just I, I hate to have you so far away from me. I know, Mom. Uh, I've convinced some of the guys in my support group to finally come to the theater tomorrow. I know, I know. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing that you're doing. <laughs> Mom, I gotta take this call. It's about the meeting tomorrow. I love you. Bye, Mom. Bill's not leaving the floor, and I don't care what the president thinks. Anyway, you think he called me to ask me my opinion? You just get back to him about that. Oh, Rora! Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Perfect. You're back at the theater. Yes, Congressman, I'm back here at the palace. Good, good for you. Now, you said you can handle it. Uh, hold it, are you there alone? No, I have my gun. Good. Good, good. You know how I feel about that. Listen, everybody is a good old friend. I would prefer if William was there with you, but anyway. The reason I'm checking in, I want to make sure the PA system is working and everything's a go for tomorrow's debate, okay? Because the mayor is still on his warpath. Everything seems fine. Maurice has been in and will be back tomorrow to do final checks. And I'm having some of the survivors over tomorrow to walk through the theater before the meeting. I think it'll be healing for all of us. Well, hey, I don't know about that. I mean, listen, I wasn't there that night, but, uh, you know, the theater gives me the creeps a little bit. Well, I'm reopening the theater. Fuck that psycho. We can't ruin this place. Sorry to curse. No, no, I get it. I totally understand. Aurora, you are amazing. All right? You're amazing. I really mean it. And I'm on your side. Half the town's on your side. Just remember, it's the mayor and his cronies, okay? They don't get it. They think they can use eminent domain to tear the theater down. That's not happening. That guy is so dead set against our Second Amendment rights. He's some kind of a constitutional heathen. You can quote me on that one. That's for the record. Lucy, it's the blue one. It's the blue one. It's the cover letter. Reopening the theater with armed guards is what makes sense. If courthouses can have that, why can't I? Exactly. Exactly right. Now remember that, okay? And keep some of that fire for the debate tomorrow. It's a big day, okay? And don't worry about a thing. I've got your back. Thank you. And uh, congressmen are more powerful than mayors, right? Well, sometimes. I'll see you tomorrow, kiddo. Thank you. 
die, you evil bastards, and you die loud. Except if I win the costume contest. Then live, you attractive genius, and then live large. Hello out there in crazy land. I'm Graham Palace. Owner of the Palace Theater chain, and of course, this classic theater. As my lovely daughter told you, this is the crown jewel in our empire, and the place we end up spending most of our time. What she didn't tell you is that today is her birthday. Ta -da -da! Everyone say, happy birthday. No, no, no. That was terrible. One more time. All together. Happy birthday. And Aurora, as your birthday gift in front of all these wonderful people, I'd like to give you this palace theater. I see full control over you to finally do all the things with it that you've been yapping about all these years. So get ready. You clowns, you two-faced hag. She's got big plans for this place. And she's the smartest, most driven person I've met. And that's it. I love you, and I know you'll be great, but remember, <laughs> I will be watching you. Are you alright? I felt the blood of the bullet go past her face. Thank you. 
through the front door. It was open. I was walking around looking for you, but I think it must have been crisscrossed. I, I tried calling your cell phone. I'm so sorry. I, I guess I'm not as ready for this as I thought. Yeah. Okay. Really. I'm just glad we're putting together, okay? It's totally me. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I love you crazy vernacular. <laughs> <laughs> in a hospital. You were found wandering the streets by the police just in your pajamas. Where's William? I think Miss Palace needs to go back to sleep. You suffered serious head trauma and you were struck with the butt of a gun. Where's William? Miss Palace. You need to rest. No. I think she needs to know. Know what? Where's William? Do you like some sleeping pills? No. Go back to sleep. Head injuries from guns are very dangerous. What's going on here? Where's William? Do you really want to know where William is? Yes, I want to know where he is. Why are my hands tied down? William's been arrested. You shouldn't like guns! No! You shouldn't like you guns! Shouldn't like guns! You 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 shouldn't like guns!
before you woke up. Thank God. Man. What? You you were found unconscious in your car. Hey. My arms aren't tied up. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank this night. Cause you shoot me like that! You shoot me like that! You shoot me like that! You me like that! Are you okay? Fine, I'm fine. God. I swear, you are one of those people that sleeps with their eyes open. And now you're just talking in your sleep. It's not good. I'm awake, William. I'm just living that cliche. It's the same old dreams. That's not nude. It'll pass, I promise. Probably doesn't help being here. I was really hoping it would. Is there a bathroom on this floor? Nope. <laughs> no, you gotta use the men's room in the lobby. Okay. Okay. You sure you're okay? Yeah. I said it was fine like three times. Nude. Nude. People will think this is greed and hatred. It's not. It's just that things need to be even. They can ask why, but they'll never understand. The people they hear about on the news, they won't understand. Only those that come here tonight will finally see what it's like. What it's like to be destroyed by someone you thought was exactly like you. Tonight is how learn what it's like.
William? Did... You know who? Did he ever, like... Like, make a video before him, like, explaining why? Uh, not that I know of. I mean... It all seemed pretty obvious to me, and... Dad cut him out of the theater and testified against him. It's just greed and hatred gone too far. Yeah, I know. It just drives me crazy. Let him win. Reason for what? That incessant creepy tapping on the door? It was a knock. A loud knock. Wake you up. You were tapping on the door like a weirdo trying to be funny or something. I don't know. I just, just knocked. Whatever, Maurice. It's not funny. I had a bad night. I know it's just going to be tough on you. This is tough on me. But I, I know this has got to be even harder on you. Oh, I'm going to get through this. 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 And we are going to reopen this theater as a tribute to my dad. And for all the other victims who were murdered by... By James... That sick scumbag whose name I will never say, remember? Right. 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 We are opening the palace. <laughs> <laughs> Be 
your father. Now, you go make sure that this gorgeous old theater is technically proficient, okay? Hey, like my dad's? Mm. No worries, babe. I don't. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. No. Go make sure the lighting's working, okay? All of it. Okay, little lady. Thank you. Oh. And in about a half an hour, I'm gonna go home and change into the proper attire. Thank God. For tonight's meeting. Mm-hmm. What do you say? I got a shark skin suit. Pink hat. And a disco ball, right? Something outrageous. It was a little surprise. <laughs> Goodbye. Yep. Good night. Good night. The lights are already on, Aurora. I thought you weren't technical. I guess uh, we should start like always. Hmm? And? Let's do it. We will survive and prosper and never forget. We will live without anger and without regret. We honor the fallen as heroes and friends and pray for us all it won't happen again. Sorry, I never uh, remember that thing. <laughs> Well, William and I have some big news. <sighs> We're engaged! Wow. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I guess, you know, there's got to be at least one good story to come out of this. Mm. This is totally nude. Mm -hmm. Totally nude? You don't know William's made-up language by now? Nude can mean naked, but it also means cool. And non-nude means not cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm not so sure of this whole situation and coming back here is uh, nude. Let's try making this a healing experience. Let's sit down and relax. Come on, let's get comfy. <laughs> Yeah, hey, how about uh, recapping how we've grown over the last year? Huh? Sarah? God, I don't know. I remember when I was a kid, fear took forever. Like, like waiting for Christmas. <laughs> so agonizingly slow. And now, bam. Here we are. That's amazing. <laughs> this has easily been the longest damn year of my life. I see things on the news. They ask me to be on the news. And there are the other shootings all the time. I'm fucking dreaming about it. How about you, Aurora? How are you doing with all this? I mean, this town hall meeting is a bit sudden. You sure you don't run away? I can't. There's a whole movement to bulldoze this place. Like it's the theater's fault. But I'm going to do what it takes to save this place. I own it. Not him. Maurice! We're down here, not now with fixing the lights! I know they never laughed at me, never hated me, or schemed against me. They thought nothing of me. And before I knew it, I agreed with them. Marie! Now I feel different. Now I'm something, something strong that can't be laughed at and ignored. I am an instrument. And now my judgment matters. They can try and judge me and neuter everything in my life and relax, thinking they have safety in numbers. That's right. Uh -huh. Fuck her off. Seriously. I don't know what the plan is, but it's stupid. I'll turn their numbers against them. I'll make them multiply their victims. <laughs> country will be a victory with this town as the entry wound tapping all over America. <gasps> I don't think it's just me, it's us. And if I'm so crazy, if I am so crazy, Fuck you up, but you would have put that down. Everyone thinks that the newest thing is crazy. <laughs> up until they fall in love with it. Because it's exhilarating. It's the greatest drill there is. It's a pure reaction to the society we built ourselves into. So many people agree it's trying to do a movement. We'll make this town a part of it. They'll love it. It'll make me feel...
you, Sarah. I'm out of here. I don't think it was Aurora's fault. And I'm sorry, I feel bad leaving her. Oh, come on. She has William with her. I've been trying to block that guy out for a year now, Sarah. I don't see how watching that video is supposed to help me. I don't know. Maybe we need to hear what his rationale was. Someone just putting up James Jennings on that big screen really isn't cool. Okay, listen, I don't know who put that video up or why. Maybe it was Aurora trying to help us with this, or Congressman Butler, or maybe it was that stupid mayor trying to get us to close this fucking theater. I don't know. But I think we owe it to ourselves and everyone else we lost that day to give it a shot. There is no constitutional issue here. People are permitted to carry guns, but only in very specific circumstances. Here we go again. You know, I find it rather insulting for you to come into our town, Congressman Butler, and mimic catchphrases. I'm sorry, do you have something substantial to say, Mrs. Nash? Yes. Yes, I do. This theater was the location of the worst mass murder to happen in the history of this state. And I think it is only right that we close it out of respect for all of the people who so tragically lost their lives here just a year ago. And I truly mean that for your father. He was a kind and gentle man. Okay, I think that you mean well, but this should be my decision, not the mayor's or his wife's. And I think it's a disgrace that your husband had everyone, including me and my fiance, search for weapons this evening. I own this building and this business. If I want to carry a gun in it, I should legally be able to do so. I want to honor in my way. It's not yours. This is a very delicate situation, Miss Pallas. You want to be able to legally carry a concealed weapon? Yes. That law changed a year ago, and you know it. You cannot carry a concealed weapon, and you cannot hire armed guards to do so. We cannot have that. We want less guns in the community, not more. No, 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 no. If this young man had not been carrying a firearm on that horrible, horrible night, many more people would have been murdered. No, 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 that's a fact. Do not use Mr. Remington's heroics to further your own political agenda. Second Amendment saves lives. The protection of the Second Amendment saves more lives in the future. Lives? You want to talk about lives? My son was killed here. He was killed because some maniac legally bought an automatic weapon. I not only want this place closed, I want it demolished. I want closure. <laughs> carrying concealed guns is not an option. Private guards carrying concealed guns 
is also not an option. I need to have less guns in my community, not more. I can't have this happen. We have the seven stars, so we have Ephesus. We have Polycarp, so we have Smyrna. We have the double-edged sword, so we have Pergamum. We have eyes blazing with fire, so we have... Theatira. We'll turn this on. So we have Sardis. We have Philadelphia, so we have Philadelphia. Now, we just need one more piece of the puzzle. Then we can put all of the pieces together. Jack, you stole my kids and all of this. No. She stole my personalities. And she gave them to you. And that can't happen. This is good. Bob really knows how to make a point.
We will haunt these victims. We'll haunt their minds, their dreams, even the very land they walk on. And our victims won't hate us. They'll become us. They'll become... Exactly here that I'm not real. Daddy! Help me to help you! Aurora, don't. Hey, Jillian, check it out. I think this is the message she got from the grave the best. I'm tired of that my body just in case the party got. Good. Let's meet at the theater in about an hour. You better be double-faced. You promised. They won't let you win without a costume anyway. I've got something to do right before the party. And 
it'll be quick, so don't worry. But if I'm late, please wait for me. Wait Let's meet me right in the lobby. Let's meet right in the lobby. Let's meet right in the lobby. Let's meet right in the lobby. Oh my God, it's a message for me. She's here. She's in the lobby. No, no. Let me tell you. Where are you going? I have to go find my sister. No, 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 wait, wait. Listen to what Aurora's dad said about being real. I don't know what he said. I just know it's a message. She's here. She wants me to fucking her. see what I've become, what I've transformed into. But they still think I'm one of them. But I'll make them one of us. That was real. William, what do you think? Maybe I shot him before he got time to finish. No, I refuse to let that happen, okay? We can figure this out. My father's trying to help us. I think all the victims are trying to help us, and they want us to help them, but how? How can we help each other get out of this hell? Okay, maybe it's just an idea, but maybe the projector. Okay, it seems to be the source of it, remember? It, it stopped after you shot it, man. We just have to do more. Look, either way, getting somebody up on the balcony is the only way I can think of to get us out of here. The balcony is still inside the theater. Who's to say we can get out from there? And, and it'll split us up. Okay, this is the only idea I have right now. What the smash in the walls or something? Oh my god, we can't even get through the unlocked door. Well, we can't wait around to die. 
I'll go up on the balcony if you guys can look through there. Really? I don't think that'll help. Um, maybe we're trapped in uh, some uh, nightmare or something. Maybe we just need to uh, hypnotize each other or something to try and wake up. Okay, and do you know how to do that? No, I'm just saying... If we teach ourselves to wake us up, Jillian would have woken up before her head got crushed. Let's try the front doors. They're all glass, so at least we can see the street. If we get you up on the balcony, are you really going to want to go down into the lobby? Okay, well... There are windows that are up in the offices that are just beyond the balcony. We can crawl out onto the roof. There still should be a rope ladder at the projector booth. The fire department requires every theater to have one. If we can get out physically, then perhaps the victims can get out spiritually right along with us. Ha! <laughs> I love that. Yeah, there are times I'm afraid. Afraid of making the wrong choice, going on the wrong path. I seem to hold this. Fired at the firing range. A few times. Or so. It reminds me of what you taught me. What you taught me. on the big screen. I saw my father too. That means he's alive too. He spoke to me. We're all trapped here. We're all trapped here, Aurora. And it's his fault. And he's a liar. Whose fault? Who's a liar? He's a liar, Aurora. And you need to see it. James is the liar. One more. One more. Father's not a liar. You can't be saying he's a liar!
yourself up. William! Aurora, oh, how'd you get up there? I don't know. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh my God, what's going on? How'd she get to the balcony? She doesn't know. I'm gonna turn on these curtains. We can use them as ropes. No, 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 Aurora, wait. Guys, stay there. Stay there. Whoa! Get back down! Ah! Guys, come on! You gotta get me up there! Oh, fuck you! How can we get you up there? Get on the ground! Dude, get on top of him! Let's be up! Fucking crazy! What is he doing? Roger, it's fucking going! Oh, yeah. Get up! Get up! Oh, no. Stop! Fuck! I can't lose you. I have to remember. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Stop! Both of you! Okay? I can't take it anymore! We have to figure out a way to get to Aurora. We have to land on <laughs> Tonight we use rifles. We'll leave a relic. A church to ourselves with that theater. The sound of our existence.
See, that's why you have to make the first move. You're right. I'll do it. I'll make the first move. But promise me, you'll do it with me. Wait. Oh. Wait. This this is not what you think. He, he's trying to manipulate you. You manipulated him. You turned his grudge into a massacre. Oh, listen to yourself. This, this is an illusion. You betrayed him. You become a hero. He's lying. He's trying to get to you. Okay, he's a liar. Okay? You're the liar! You're the liar! This is all about you! I'm not manipulating him. Listen to me. He's lying. Okay? He is a liar. Aurora! Listen to what I'm saying here. Aurora, stop! Stay away from them. I know who you are. And we've helped each other. No, I don't get to be your husband. We're the hero. I am a liar. The event might be only a few moments, but you'll all be caught up inside those moments. <laughs> 